So next up we have Pranit, Pranit, and uh, he was going to be speaking about valuable trash, and he is uh, at from a high school in Mumbai. Go ahead, take it away, Pranit. Yeah, thank. You. Hi, my name is Pranit Hiranandani. I study at the Cathedral and John Conan School in Mumbai, India. I have built an app called Valuable Trash. Valuable Trash is an innovative and intuitive app that helps you reuse your waste. Using AI, it classifies your waste and provides innovative solutions. It is extremely easy and convenient to use. It enables users to practically and creatively reuse their waste, making their trash valuable. In grade six, I watched a class assembly on the life of a social worker determined to clean beaches and rivers. I was inspired to build a prototype of a robotic river cleaning raft as part of my science project. I decided to use plastic bottles to form the base of the raft, the very waste itself. Since then, I have been trying to find ideas to reuse waste creatively. I also made an automatic cricket pitching machine using reused cardboard and plastic bottles. The pitching machine was my companion in the lockdown and helped me realize how valuable trash can be. My passion for reusing waste materials combined with artificial intelligence got me into making this app so I can reach a larger audience and spread awareness. Excess waste has huge environmental impacts and can cause serious problems to our planet. Large garbage dumping sites such as landfills emit multiple toxic gases that impact the air quality. The most serious of them is methane, a greenhouse gas. Some of the waste is also thrown into oceans and seas. The amount of plastic waste currently in the oceans is extremely alarming. There are 5.25 trillion pieces of plastic debris in the ocean. Many marine animals end up dying after consuming the plastic waste. Reusing waste is not easy for everyone and does not even occur to most. Even those who are environmentally conscious and campaign about it find it difficult to reuse their waste on a daily basis. While there are many campaigns for this, very few give practical and simple solutions. These statistics indicate that there is a great need for this product and people are willing to recycle and reuse, but find it too difficult. My app solves this giant problem of excess waste by helping users reuse their waste. It provides innovative solutions requiring minimal tools. The user simply clicks an image of the waste that they want to reuse. A machine learning algorithm distinguishes the image based upon its material, type, and size. Based upon the classification, innovative solutions are provided for the user to follow. There are multiple solutions which the user can choose from, and each solution also has a difficulty level. The user also gets an option to find the nearest recycling center. The classes comprise of various daily use items, such as plastic bottles, plastic bags, soda cans, plastic boxes, plastic cutlery, and plastic glasses. I have subcategorized plastic bottles into small, medium, and large sizes, and plastic boxes into circular and rectangular. The data set comprised of about 100 images of each class. There was not any easily available data set on the internet, so I had to gather my own data from Google Images. Since I gathered my own data, the data set has a lot of variety. The image classification algorithm that I have used is Convolutional Neural Networks, CNN. It is a class of neural networks that specialize in processing data that has a grid-like topology, such as an image. The type of CNN that I've used is MobileNet version 2. It is easy to train, not requiring much processing power, and works well on mobile devices. 
the accuracy of the model on the validation set is quite high and has a low loss considering the amount of classes. I have built the app using Flutter as it is a multi-platform mobile framework, making it easy to develop both iOS and Android apps. To run the model on the mobile, I had to use TensorFlow Lite, which is supported on mobile. I faced a lot of challenges in training the neural network. I experimented on various details when training the model to achieve optimum results. Initially, my data set only had comprised of about 50 images per class. I realized that the accuracy was quite low when training on only 50 images. So I expanded my data set to 100 images per class. I also experimented on the number of epochs that I was training the model on. I tried not to train on model on a very high number of epochs and not on a no, very low number of epochs. I also tried very different confidence thresholds for the model so that the model would predict accurately. I learned a new app programming framework called Flutter while building this project. I did not have any knowledge of Flutter or Dart previously, but managed to learn it on my own. I learned how to build cloud databases on Google Firestore and implementing them with Flutter. To train my deep learning model, I took advantage of Google Colab, which offers a free cloud GPU, making it easy to train CNN models. Demo. The user gets a prompt to click an image. The machine learning model is run on the image. It classifies it based on its material type and size. The user gets an option to select a creative idea from the list. A step-by-step -step tutorial is provided for the user to follow. The user also has the option to find the nearest recycling center. The user can easily select the center of their choice and follow the directions. One of my future ideas is to create a valuable trash community where users can upload their own ideas. Another is to host many competitions for the best reusing idea, the best getting prizes, which can help promote the app. Another is to calculate the user's reduced carbon footprint from using the app, which they can share on social platforms, promoting the app. I can also partner up with local waste management companies. During the pandemic, millions of PPE kits are used on a daily basis and are thrown away after a few uses. They are made of plastic, which is harmful to the environment. To combat this, I thought of the idea of adding PPE kits and other COVID essentials, such as masks and sanitizer bottles, to my list of waste materials, allowing users to recycle and reuse them too, in a safe and appropriate manner. I also had an idea to integrate with various payment apps such that when a consumer buys a product packaged in a recyclable material, such as a cold drink bottle, it incentivizes the customer to use my app to reuse and recycle it. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was a really great presentation. I think it's a very nice kind of way to help the environment and, you know, and help uh, you know battle the effects of climate change and so forth. So uh, let's see if anybody in the audience has any questions. We will give them a minute to ask their questions. Okay, so there is a question. Um, how many users do you have so far? Uh, so currently it's still in beta. So I'm still developing the app and uh, I soon plan to roll out the app for users to use it. And of course on the Google Play Store and the App Store as well. I see. Makes sense. Yeah. Very good. Um, I think that, yeah, if anybody has any other questions, just, uh, you know, put them on the chat and, you know, we can definitely send them to the attendee, uh, sorry, to the panelists afterwards. 